Welcome to another episode of Tiffin Box TV. I speak with photography industry leaders who make it a habit of inspiring others, bridging craft and commerce to help you create a sustainable and creative business. Today's guest is Jen Rosenbaum, a boudoir photographer based in New York, someone who's been on the show before, but she's here because, well, she's here because she's a friend of mine, but also because she's presenting at Inspire Photo Retreats in 2017. So this is an Inspire interview. Folks, welcome Jen Rosenbaum on my behalf. Jen, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So let's jump in right in, uh, Jen. I know you're going to be speaking at Inspire uh, Photo Retreats in 2017. Uh, the dates are February 27th to March 1st. I've been to it many times, and I always ask this question of someone who's coming in for the first time. What is it that inspired you, forgive the pun, inspired you to even consider coming to uh, the conference in Newport, Rhode Island? Well, I have to be, I, this is a real honest answer. I was actually so excited when they invited me um, to come because I've heard so many amazing things about the the workshops and the retreat. And, and I know people who have gone and it's sort of been on my bucket list. So when they asked me, it wasn't even like a conversation. It was like, Jen, would you like to? I was like, yes, <laughs> whatever you're about to say, yes. Sweet. <laughs> so awesome. I'm very excited. Excellent. Uh, one of the things that that is so amazing about the conference and, and you're going to find out about it, is that the connections that people make there are really uh, down to earth. I mean, mm. I have had people uh, come up to me and talk to me or I can go up and talk to a speaker anytime I wanted to and have a really meaningful, deep, long conversation about either my work or their work or whatever is happening in the industry. Uh, it's one of the things that I think you may be even looking forward to. What is it that you're going to be bringing to us at Inspire this mm. next year? Yeah, that's part of the thing that really speaks to my soul. And it's so much of what I do in boudoir photography is it's all about the connection. And that's part of what I'm excited about for Inspire. Um, for me, I actually volunteered. They asked me to do one session, but I actually volunteered to do two. Oh, my. Um, because I really wanted to do something on the technical side of photography and something a little bit more inspirational on the life side of a photographer or just a business person or um, sort of artist slash business person, um, which I think is part of what a lot of photographers struggle with is really creating their life and building their life. And I've, I've done it and I'm continuing to do it. Uh, and it's a, it's a practice. It's like a muscle, like anything else. So my technical side will be more of the posing and the wardrobe and the, how to make every woman look amazing. And the, um, inspirational side will be, um, dealing with more of my shamelessly feminine message. And it's really, um, geared towards women because I am one and so it's about creating a life that you want as a woman however I think it will speak to men as well and it's a little bit more of things about like um you know decision making and the law of attraction and um not really being clear about what you want so you can go after it because I think that I see this a lot over and over that there's like a lot of hurdles in that area so I volunteer to also speak about that awesome so I mean, it's a twofer in a way. Yes. <laughs> you know, folks who are coming in to, to, to watch or listen or learn from you can have, they have two opportunities to learn from you. And it's, that's fantastic. Uh, one of the things I always wanted to ask you, Jen, is, uh, you know, as a, as a guy, if I wanted to say, get into boudoir photography, what would you suggest? What three things would you suggest for a guy getting into photography, boudoir photography? Sure. Well, my first piece of advice would really be get over it <laughs> because if a client is hiring you, they're okay with a guy shooting them. So, so many men are like, well, I'm booking clients, but it really makes me nervous. And I'm just like, well, get over it because they want that. And so use that to your advantage would be sort of like tip number one and a half, <laughs> you know, sort of like get over it and use it to your advantage because men can see women in a way that women cannot. So I have tried, trust me, I cannot see a woman the way a man can. So if you're a man and you're shooting boudoir, you can see a woman in a beautiful way, then embrace that, use it to your advantage, sell that versus trying to hide from it. Uh, and my third tip would be if you are uncomfortable or you feel nervous about it in the beginning, is just to have an assistant there, a makeup artist or somebody that can just help out. Even if it's just like putting on her corset or attaching her stockings, sometimes it's just good to have a woman there to help her and to sort of protect you, I guess. Awesome. Great. Great tips. Uh, and 
I'm sure that these are just the, the very beginnings of other great tips to, to hear from you when, when we meet uh, in 2017. Uh, one last question. I know you're not coming, you know, you're coming from New York to Rhode Island. It's not that far off, but, and the weather is going to be perfect, right? Uh, it's February to the, <laughs> and, and the weather is going to be cold. Yes. But one of the things about being in a hotel all connected and just sort of hanging out together is that people can, as I said before, be able to come up and talk to you about, you know, whether it's their business or your business. Uh, what, what do you see in terms of the, the time that you spend there, which is, you know, three days long in mm -hmm. terms of a conference? Have you been to a conference that's actually three days long where you sit and chat with other folks? Uh, yeah, what I find so great about that is that you're really separated from your everyday life. And sometimes we we really need that. Let's be totally honest for a minute. Photography can be a very lonely industry. It can be, yeah. Um, and, you know, we tend to sit. I mean, this is probably the most connection I've done with a photographer, right, in the past few weeks, like, you know, on the on Skype, you know, mm -hmm. so it can be a very lonely industry. And I think that when you take yourself out of your environment and you put yourself around other people like you and like-minded people for three straight days, there's a lot of growth that comes from that more so than even just sitting behind your computer and being on Facebook groups, which I highly advocate. I mean, I have a Facebook group, so I, I think it's a great way to connect, but, um, there's nothing like doing it in person. And, um, you know, often I'm hearing that people aren't showing up to these in-person things as much as they should. And it makes me sad because it is such a gift to be able to separate yourself from life and realize there's other people around you going through the same things. Right. Absolutely. Jen, thank you so much for joining me today. But before I let you go, tell us where else one can find out more about you and perhaps even learn from you. Sure. Um, the best place to really find me is at my blog, which is generationsblog.com. That's with a J. Um, there's a lot of links there where you can buy my stuff and where you can find me in person, which needs to be updated in fairness, but <laughs> I will take care of it this week. Um, I also sell a bunch of products. If you're interested in any of my posing or my book or anything like that, that's at gumroad.com forward slash Jen Rosenbaum. And the Rosenbaum is with a Z. And um, in addition, you can Google or Facebook search Jen Rosenbaum's boudoir group. We have about 17,000 photographers in there now. I am active in the group every single day. And um, it's a beautiful community of photographers that are looking to grow and learn and do it all together. Fantastic. Wow, that is incredible. Thank you so much again for joining me today, Jen. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you for having me. I can't wait to see you. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.